Physical activity has a multitude of benefits for a patient going through treatment for cancer or even once they've finished their treatment. It can help improve muscle strength and body composition. It helps reduce the risk of other diseases such as diabetes and cardiovascular problems. And it helps to improve fatigue and there's a lot of evidence surrounding this. And fatigue is one of the biggest side effects that patients will report. Lots of people who are going through cancer treatment do feel low in mood and exercise or increasing your physical activity is one of the frontline treatments for helping to improve mood and some mental health problems that people may suffer with. The recommendations are that people achieve 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity cardiovascular exercise and strength training twice a week. And the easiest way to try and explain the moderate intensity exercise is that you should feel a bit breathless. So you should be able to talk, but you shouldn't be able to sing. Then that counts towards that 150 minutes a week. So it can be helpful to think about breaking it down into half an hour a day, but it doesn't have to be half an hour all at once. That might not be achievable because you may have a day that you're feeling more tired, you're not feeling well. And we'd encourage you on those days to still try and do something. So we talk a lot about pacing, and if it's a good day, then try and do 80% of your maximum effort. And if it's not a good day, then still try and do something, even if it's just 40%. It can be anything. It can be increasing the speed you walk to the shops. Uh, it can be using the stairs instead of the escalators. It doesn't have to be structured exercise. It can just be increasing how hard perhaps you work when you're doing one of your normal day-to-day -day activities. With the strength exercises, the main thing we'd encourage is that you actually make sure it is challenging enough. So you should be getting to the point that you can do three sets of 10 to 12 exercises and you should feel that you don't particularly want to do the next one because if it's easier than that, then you're probably not changing that muscle strength and function. But you don't need to go to a gym and you don't need to be into a sport. It's very easy to do this at home or by just increasing how hard you try with your um, daily living activities. There is a role for uh, physical activity at every stage following a diagnosis of cancer. For example, pre-surgery, if you can increase your cardiovascular health and your muscle strength pre-surgery, then you can improve how you manage after that operation. Fatigue following a cancer diagnosis or throughout your treatment is a different type of tiredness than other people experience. And sometimes people can get stuck in a vicious cycle where excessive rest can then lead to physical deconditioning because you're not moving and using your muscles and therefore you're feeling more tired afterwards. Physical activity can help to break that cycle and pacing becomes really important within this. And this is where we would suggest thinking about if it's a good day, trying to do your 80% of what you feel you can do. But if it's a bad day, perhaps you just do 40%. So trying to still do something, but not feeling you need to push yourself too much on those days that you're not feeling as good. We obviously want you to be sensible and we're not aiming for personal bests. We're just trying to help you maintain what you have. And it might be then that you actually see an improvement in your quality of life from that. If you have any questions about your specific circumstances, then please ask your specialist physiotherapist.